Hi, Capricorn. I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for March 2024. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in March and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, sometimes your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there, so you might want to check that out. This recording is for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Rising, and Capricorn Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot Deck in this reading. All that being said, Capricorn, now on to your March 2024 Psychic Tarot reading. First card you have, Capricorn, is the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is a faded, destined, meant to be, preordained relationship. It could be love, often it's a love relationship, but sometimes this can, you could have like soulmate energy with a friend or relative. So it could be a soulmate. It could also be a twin flame. I feel like you're starting to feel connected to somebody or maybe you're already connected to them, but more, maybe more strongly connected. But I also hear bipolar energy. That doesn't mean somebody here is clinically bipolar. It could just mean even though you feel connected to them, either you or the other person may have like big swings of like feeling connected and not feeling connected or feeling madly in love and then not feeling that way. There's somebody that you want to bring change about in their lives. Now, it could be a love partner to you. It could be somebody else that you have a strong connection to, like a soul connection. Like I said, it could be a friend. It could also be one of your kids or another relative. Some of you may be making plans with this person. If you're engaged, you may be planning on planning a wedding, or maybe you're already coupled already married or, you know, living together or whatever, you may be, may be making plans to have children or move to a new location or start your lives together in a new place. I, I feel like there needs to be continuity in this relationship, and I feel that this is going to be expressed by you to them or them to you, or the two of you will be mutually agreeing on, like this relationship has to have continuity, meaning like stability, regularity, uh, reliability. These are things that bring about continuity. Some of you are trying to build something here. It could be making a giant leap in building something together. This, if it's not a life partner to you, a romantic partner to you, it could be somebody that you are going to build something really big like a business, a company, some maybe even a short-term endeavor, but it would take planning, uh, you know, mapping things out, planning, schedules, figuring things out comes up here. Whether it's a love relationship or it's some venture you are doing with somebody else. I feel like you're paying attention to statistics and demographics and doing research. So if you are going to build a new company or business with somebody, you're gonna do your research about what demographics are you, are you, is your business going to be targeting? Uh, and where the location, the best location for the business. If it's a love partner and you're planning to move or you're planning a 
wedding or some other thing that's big for the two of you, you will be doing your research and you may be paying attention to reviews, statistics, demographics. This, this all comes up here for you with somebody else in this card. So the next card in your reading is the chariot. And this is a card that's feeling pulled in two different directions. You could be trying to decide between going, you know, which direction to take, which path to choose. This could be symbolizing change. It could also indicate long distance travel. Sometimes the chariot can indicate success. You're really, really going to be following the guidance of your spirit guides. And if you're like, nah, I don't know. I can't hear my spirit guides or no, they, they're not doing anything. I don't feel any guides around me. They could be doing it in dreams. They could be doing it through your subconscious. Uh, they could be doing it through signs and symbols. They, uh, <laughs> they can be inspiring you. Like never underestimate the deceased people that love you and are connected to you and never underestimate your spirit guides and your higher self because all these things can uh, intercede in your life and influence you even though you don't realize it. It's like March feels to me like for Capricorns, you're like making big plans for the future. You're setting the stage for things that you want to do. Um, and some of these things are going to take a while to sort out. I don't want to give you the impression here that I'm like, yep, snap of a finger. You figured it all out in March. Uh, I feel it's a process, but March is highlighted. So you could make big advancements in March. You could make big headway, big advancements in your plans uh, of what you want to do. Some of you, if you're really super speedy, may be able to finish them all in March, but I don't feel that's going to be, a, I don't feel like March is a completion month for you. I feel like it's a month of planning, plotting, and progress. I don't feel it's a culmination month for you. You could really find yourself like needing to keep your feet on the ground because uh, you could find yourself getting really distracted and interested in a lot of different things. Your energy could be a little scattered uh, because you could be like, oh, I'm really into this, but I really need to take care of that. And I want to look in about this and that. And I need to know. Like, I don't know what you're planning. If it's a wedding, you may be like, okay, I got to get the dress. And what is a cake going to look like? And what venue is it going to be in? And this and that, if it's a wedding, but it could be anything. If you're building a business, like what are the zoning laws? Uh, what uh, should I be? Should we be a corporation or an LLC? Uh, you know, do I need to see a lawyer or can I do it on my own online? Uh we need to set up a bank account for this business. Like whatever it is you're working on, may, or maybe you're moving and you're like, okay, we need to go to the place. We need to see where the shopping places are nearby. We need to see how many miles it is. If you have kids, how many miles it is away from the school? What are the school systems like? What's going on at the school? What are people like in the neighborhood where you want to move? Like whatever it is, you're going to be like, I'm looking over here. I'm looking over there. I'm digging into this. I'm digging into that. So it's not useless, but it is scattered uh, energy. So the, uh, before I go on to your third card, if you would like to see how this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, March 25th, 2024 is going to affect you, your sun sign, and maybe how, how it affects your rising sign, you may want to get my psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings I did for that particular eclipse. The link for these videos is down below in the description box underneath this video. And the links are usually always on my website at theluckymermaid.com on the videos page. Uh, I did have a crappy February. As you can see, I broke my wrist. I also badly sprained my right, which has improved greatly. But I don't know how fast I'm going to get to typing those on 
uh, my uh, website because it actually takes a long time, even though it doesn't look like a lot of typing. It takes a lot to connect those those links to my website. So hopefully they'll be over there. But if not, they're down below in the description box. So card number three for you is the judgment card. And the judgment card is what do we think about a situation? How do we feel about it? What's the word? What's the proclamation? How are things going to go down and how does it affect everybody involved? You're going to be getting a lot of feedback from people. If you have an announcement or some big plan that you're planning or announcement that you're making, you're going to hear it from people. Like, you know, it may be good. Like, people may like it. Don't get me wrong. It may not be negative feedback. But, you know, whether people like it or whether people don't or how they feel about it, you are surely going to be hearing their opinions and their feedback in the month of March. You may want to have a gathering, a gathering of people where you make some kind of announcement. Uh, this could even be like if you have a YouTube channel, you may want to go live and make some big announcement on a live, uh, you know, streaming. You could want to do that. You could be making a video where you're making a big announcement uh, because I feel like you're telling a group of people whatever this is. But if it's, you know, on a personal level, you could be having, like I said, a, you know, a party, a gathering, a celebration, a dinner, and you make some kind of announcement of your plans of like, hey, we're going to move or, hey, we're going to buy a new business or, and start a new business or, hey, we're getting married or, hey, we're going to have we're, we're announcing, uh, you know, gender reveal of a, of a pregnancy or we're having an announcement of a baby. Like any announcement is coming from you to a group, whether it be a small group or a large group or a big gathering of people. That comes up here strongly for you Capricorns for March. You may also be getting involved in doing something with groups where you are teaching, training, educating, or coaching groups. You could be putting on a theater production. You may be um, like, maybe you're going, or you're gathering people together in a group to, you know, uh, protest something or gathering people together in a group to put on a play gathering people in a group to start a some kind of uh, club, group, or organization, foundation, charity, anything like that. That also is coming up here in your reading. So the next card in your reading, Capricorn, is the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is a card that symbolizes three sisters, three females, three friends. It can be help from friends. It could also be you throwing a party, gathering, or celebration. You attending a party, gathering, or a celebration. It could also be a celebratory conclusion to something going on in your life. I feel that you and maybe two other people, could be more than that, are getting things together for something that's going to happen. Like I said, if you're planning a business or a move or a wedding or a club group or organization or a play or a production of some sort, maybe it could be musical, um, you're gathering people together to get the necessary implements for whatever it is you're doing. If you're moving, you're packing. If you're getting married, you're getting together the catering hall, the the DJ or the band and the wedding dresses and the bridesmaids dresses and the tux and the flowers. If it's not that and you're starting a group, what do you need? Do you need a laptop? Do you need computers? Do you need any other technology? Do you need a president, a vice president, a secretary, a treasurer? You know, whatever you need to amass and group together, you and at least two other people but possibly more are going to be involved in doing these activities. Like I already said, whatever it's happening for you, 
you may not complete it in March. There's progress in March. You're heading towards that finish line or you're heading towards that goal. Uh, sorry, there's gnats in here. Every now and then my plants have gnats that come out and I do have things to catch them, but I don't know. There are, I got organic potting soil and <laughs> the gnats, I planted a new plant with it and now there's gnats. It's very annoying, so I'm sorry if you see them buzzing around. So like I said, this is a month of progress. It's not a month of necessar necessarily completion. And these people in the Three of Cups are helping you towards your goals. And these are people that you may really start seeing really regularly. You may find that like, oh, I'm seeing him in March. I'm seeing him in April. I'm seeing him, you know, in uh, May. You may have already, this may have already started. You may hear this and go, crap, Pam, that happened to me last year or <laughs> two years ago. You know, I get that once in a while. People tell me that and I'm like, yep, not surprised because that's the nature of psychic readings. You know, if you find somebody dead on with timing, dead on, that's rare. That's very rare because spirit guides see timing differently, even in private readings. I can read somebody privately and they can say, yeah, that happened to me. That already happened to me. That happened to me a year ago. Okay, well, my guides mention it, so you can get confirmation if these things already happened. But for some of you, they will be coming up. And always watch your rising sign and your moon sign if what I'm saying to you here is like, she's nuts you know what? They're predictions. If you haven't seen it happen yet, doesn't mean it isn't going to happen. So keep that in your hold. Keep that under your hat. Yeah. And I get, again, my guides are repeating themselves, accumulating what's necessary, making progress, having planning and discussions on whatever this is that's going on. And I feel like you're going to feel like we're all on the same team. We're on board. We're doing the right thing. This is going in the right direction. I don't feel like this is causing any problems, acrimony, arguments. No, I feel like this is going in a positive and good direction for you. Your last tarot card of this reading for March is the night. I'm I'm sorry, the last tarot card for your reading for March is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is an air sign person, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. This could be you if you have a rising sign or a moon sign that is an air sign, or if you're born on the cusp of Capricorn and Aquarius. There's challenges or things that get put forth by this air sign person that they want to see have happen. So this could be your significant other. It could be one of your parents. It could be a boss. It could be your business partner. Um, it's because it's somebody that wants to put their ideas out there and say, this is what I require. This is what I need to see happen. You may think about them like, yeah, they're up to their old tricks. They're a little bit controlling. Maybe they're a little bit manipulative. Maybe they're a little bit bossy. I don't feel like you don't like them. <laughs> I see you just going, uh-huh, yeah, like par for the course. This is typical behavior. Like, mm, this is what I expected. They may feel like you judge them too harshly. <laughs> They may feel like you don't give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, you judge them too harshly. I feel like you could spend a lot of time burning the midnight oil with this air sign person. So this could be, if you're getting married, this could be the person you're marrying. If you're having a child with this person, it could be the, your partner. Uh, if you are doing a business with this person, it could be your business partner. Um, because I get like staying up late at night, working late, midnight or burning the midnight oil, uh, 
circles around the two of you. But remember, for some of you, this could be you if your sun, moon, or rising sign is air, or if your cusp sign is Aquarius. Because I get this person saying to you, there's things we need to settle. There's things we need to get straight. There's things we need to get down on paper. Possibly even like contracts need to be signed here. Maybe between you and this uh, King of Swords. Maybe if you're getting married, they want a prenup. Or this is getting a marriage license, possibly. It could also be if you're buying a property, Maybe you guys have to, you know, go to settlement and sign the papers. If it's a business uh, and it's a joint venture, the two of you may need to sign like a contra contractual agreement with each other of like what happens if the business uh, dissolves, who gets what, that kind of energy could it's like present here. These are the things my guides are telling me. So the best gemstone crystal I got for Capricorns to work with, use, and wear in the month of March of 2024. You got Chalcedony, and Chalcedony is a nurturing stone. It promotes brotherhood and goodwill. It absorbs negative energy. Chalcedony brings mind, body, emotions, and spirit into harmony, and it instills feelings of benevolence and generosity. This stone is spelled... C-H-A-L-C-E-D-O-N-Y. I've heard people online pronounce it um, differently, but it, it, like you could say Chalcedony, but it's not pronounced that way. It's Chalcedony. So you can get Chalcedony in many different colors. Sometimes it's bright, vibrant green, bright, vibrant blue, it can be many different colors. This particular one is like a grayish blue with like a gray uh, or brownish gray striping through it. You know, I don't know how common this is to find this particular color, but any Chalcedony will do. This is going to ease tensions in you. It's going to give you more self-confidence, more self-assuredness, make you feel better about yourself in general. It's going to help you look into the fine print of things and to move things along, things that you want to see move, which is good because you have some things here you're working on in March that you are going to want to see move along. It's a stone that's going to help you feel connected to those around you. So if you're dealing with people like in the Three of Cups card and this King of Swords card uh, and this Two of Cups card and also it came up in your Judgment card dealing with groups of people and talking to people and maybe making an announcement or having a gathering, you wear this stone, you carry this stone, you're going to feel like you're getting along with them. You're more connected with them, that things are working better with others. So be a great stone to wear when you have to go to work uh, or any family gatherings or any groups or clubs or organizations you are attending or that you are, you know, engineering to have happen. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like this video if you liked it and share it with others if you feel it was worth sharing. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. And hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos to YouTube. And also, Check me out on Rumble. I'm also over there at the Lucky Mermaid LLC. Now, if you are subscribed and you're not getting notified, please check and see if you've gotten unsubscribed because sometimes YouTube does that. I don't know why. I don't unsubscribe anybody. So you may want to check that out. If you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo on-demand pages where I look at very specific topics 
you using a variety of divination tools to bring you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for each sign of the zodiac for those specific topics, you can access my most recently recorded video series by clicking on the links down below in the description box in the show more section. And these videos are also, the links are also on my website at the Lucky Mermaid LLC videos page. The most recently recorded video series I've recorded is the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, March 25th, 2024, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings for each sign of the zodiac. I highly recommend if you can do so to get both your sun sign and your rising sign in that video series because this eclipse is not just going to be affecting your sun sign only and it is always wise to watch your rising sign when you can do so. Also, my big love readings for singles and couples for 2024 are also available. The first part of the videos will be your single people of your sign. The second half of the video will be the coupled people of your sign, but I do recommend you watch the entire video because there will be some crossover. So some messages for singles will apply to couples and some messages for couples will apply to the singles. I record the singles and couples in the same video because you could start out at the beginning of the year single and later on in the year you become a couple and vice versa. So that's why I do the singles and couples in the same video series, in the same videos. So also, if you would like to get uh, my psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac for March 2024, that link is also down below in the description box in the show more section. And hopefully these videos are also added to my website, but as I've said in the videos, I didn't have a good February. I broke my wrist and badly sprained my right wrist. So I hope I can get them typed out and over on my website. Also, my psychic crystal readings for the new year of 2024 for each sign of the zodiac are also available. Those links are down below and on my website. And my New Year 2024 10 card Celtic Cross Tarot Spread Psychic Tarot readings for each sign of the zodiac. If you haven't checked out the New Year's readings yet, we're only a couple months into the new year, so you may want to check them out because they will be very helpful to you to go back and watch throughout the year uh, to check on those psychic predictions and messages for this year of 2024. Also, my career and finance, psychic tarot, and crystal readings for the next 12 to 18 months. I recorded them in April of 2023, and the predictions go out until the end of October of 2024. I'm not going to do my uh, career and finance readings like that anymore. I may uh, break them up, career separately, finance separately. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to continue on in that format. So this will be the last chance to get them together in the same video uh, format, that the way they're laid out now. Also, my Horseshoe Tarot Seven Card Spread Psychic Tarot readings, I recorded them in August of 2023. Uh, August of 2023, and those predictions go all the way out until the end of August of 2024. So if you want to see what videos I have available, there'll be many links down below. You can click on that uh, each link. You can go to the page on Vimeo and read the descriptions of what I divination tools I've used, how long the predictions go out for, and what I'm covering in the video. You can also see those, that same information on my videos page on my website. Uh, also, if you would like to help support this channel and donate to the channel to help it keep going, there's a donation link down below connected to PayPal. 
Thank you so much to those of you who have been very kind, generous, and donated to my channel. It does mean a lot and it does help me a lot. And you know, when you purchase my Vimeo videos, you are helping support this channel to keep going. The ad revenue is so small, you can't live off of it unless you have like, you know, several hundred uh, thousand subscribers or you're up to a million subscribers. The, the lower level uh, subscribership, it, it's not enough to live on and to keep going. So any videos you buy and any donations you make help to keep me be able to make these videos here on YouTube. So it does help and it's a great thing. I do truly appreciate it and it means a lot to me. So thank you so much for that. Also, if you would like to get more predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here on a video on YouTube, you can also follow me on my social media pages at the Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and the Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgel on Instagram. And also at the Lucky Mermaid on X and also on my Rumble channel, the Lucky Mermaid LLC. So, uh, but it, I do do posts on X. I also post predictions and messages on Facebook and Instagram and also on my YouTube community pages. Many people find these messages resonate with them. I usually pull tarot cards or oracle cards. Occasionally I use the crystal and people do find they resonate with them. So hopefully you'll find they resonate with you as well. So I hope you have an absolutely marvelous month of March, all the signs of the Zodiac out there, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.